I'd like to show you a quick way to work with effects inside of Adobe InDesign. Now, th this can be done in InDesign CS4, CS5, CS5.5. If you select something, let's say it's a group or a single object, whatever it is, and you apply a, an effect, like a drop shadow. Now, the drop shadow you can apply from just about anywhere, right? Control panel, menus, right click, or effects panel. I'll go over to the effects panel, got the group selected. I'll come over and apply some kind of drop shadow. And I'll just leave these as is. You can do whatever you want to them, obviously. Maybe I'll even change the opacity here to like 50% or something. All right, there. Now, I've got it selected still. And if I look over here, I'll see that we've got the group now has an opacity and this FX icon. Now, what's really cool here, you can see it says drag to apply effects elsewhere. If I click and drag, I don't even have to really do this, but if I click and drag, I can apply it on my text. I can also click and drag and apply it to images. Now it's going to show you this little thing that says nope, but if I let go, take a look. There you go. Now this is applying, you guys, it's applying effects. Notice how the opacity is not coming with it. Um, I've tried all different kind of ways to do this. So even grabbing the target FX, dragging and dropping, trying to apply that, and you'll see it's still doing the same thing. So anyway. If you want to be, you know, dead on and you want it to look the way you want it to look, you'll notice that sometimes right here it's actually applying it to the frame, not to the text. You want to make sure you apply the effect to the correct thing first, like the stroke, the film, you know, the fill the text, etc. And then if you drag and drop it to other objects, it should apply it or allow you to apply it to it's pretty much the same thing, okay, later on. So there we go. Just a quick way to take an effect that you've done. And if you like it, you can just drag and drop it onto another object. Of course, we can also make object styles. But this is a little bit faster way of just getting it done down and dirty.